Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. It's foggy, it's foggy, very foggy. This It's so foggy, you can't even, it's foggy this morning. No, actually that's not clouds, that's fog, very foggy. It's very foggy this morning, it's, it's, it's cloudy. That's clouds. Fishing is good right now. This is the best time of year you could ever have to fish right now because it's springtime, it's warming up, the fish wanna be on the bank, I wanna be on the bank, so we're gonna go out and catch some more today. Let me, uh, I got I got, I got a different guest today. I, I got, it's different. I had to leave Rob at the bank because Rob was uh, very disrespectful and uh, I had to, I had to leave him. Let me get, let me get my life jacket. Oh, see, that's why you always wear your kill switch. You notice that my engine wouldn't start because I didn't have my kill switch. Hold on. Okay, all right. So, this is what you always do. Then, yeah. Okay, so had to, had to do away with Rob Jordan. Rob Jordan was, uh, he's on probation. Too many big bass, too disrespectful. So I got, I got my brother. I had to pick up my brother today. Get in the boat, Sammy. All right, so victim number two is <laughs> Dion Latimer. Victim number two today. Here's the thing about this video. Pretty much gonna be a rehearsal of what you saw in the last video, but I don't care. I would try to do something different to catch them a different way. I tell you what, that's gonna be a problem running across the lake today. Yeah, thanks. That is not gonna be good. There's not much visibility out here today. It's foggy. But <clears throat> this is what I come to do. There is about two weeks out of the year where you get to catch them like how you can catch them right now, which means on the bank, they're trying to spawn. They're like, they're ready to get there. There's only a couple weeks to do that. There's a bunch of different ways to catch fish right now. You could go out and throw, you could catch them out in 30 foot, dropping on them vertically. You could go throw a shaky head on the bank. You could, we could probably take off right here with a crankbait and just burn the bank up and catch a few. But there's only about two weeks where you can catch them on a spinnerbait back in the stained water. So that's what we're about to go do. That's what you're gonna get to see. That's probably what you're gonna see for the next three, four, five, six, seven videos. I don't care because this is just fun. It's nothing like watching them, as Rob says, tackle a spinnerbait. Let's get started. So, this is the baits that I used last time, but really and truly, I'm gonna only use one of these baits. You already saw that guy, that's what I used last time. That's a B-Height Delight Sprinter Bait, half ounce Z-Man Sling Blades. I just wanna change the color, so that's gonna be your change for this video, is I'm changing the colors of the Sprinter Bait. Put my crank bait a little bit. My new Plano Edge the spinnerbait box is pretty, pretty slick. There we go, right there. Half ounce white and short shoes sling blades. Find this double Colorado. I got it in my spinnerbait kit on my website, shopblat.com. There's a spinnerbait kit of my three favorite colors of spinnerbaits: white and short shoes, sexy shad, and there's one called like mouse trap. This basically a translucent color that you can use. New spring bait, you got. That's the old one you were there. Hey, they gonna, they gonna make us get slow today. Also, we probably need to try that little leaf. Got it? Look how many times you had to fish that, though. Huh? Look, yeah, look how many times you had to fish to, to get in the bite. I knew you was gonna do that. <laughs> I knew you was gonna do that old goofy stuff. What was that? That was on Chatter Bay. Chatter Bay. Let me see. Hold on. Project Z. Chatter Bay. Just you didn't even put a trailer on it. No. Who fishes a Chatter Bay without a trailer, Dion? Huh? Me. Oh my god. I mean, it's the same. Thing do you need a trailer? Bait. Do you need a trailer? You can. But you don't have to. I think I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna go back to my willow leaf spinnerbait because the water's cleared up a little bit since the last time I was here. And they're, uh, yeah, let's go back to, I think I'm gonna go back to a willow leaf. All right, I'm gonna tie on the Texas rig just to make sure. Flip that lizard in there and it'd be floating through the air. They'd be like, man, I got, I can I, I, I can't. Don't nobody flip lizards no more. Yeah, they don't even know what they are. They be like, what's, what's a lizard? You got a pet one? A six inch lizard, lizards, Z-Man lizards. Flip him around in some of these laydowns and stuff today. Nobody fishes that anymore. It's old school stuff right there. 
definitely. We went straight 1990s. We're throwing Willow Leaf spinner baits and lizards. That's straight old school. This is how I grew up fishing right here. A lizard and a spinner bait in, in March. I also used to fish a, a lizard on a split shot rig this time of year too. Kill them. I had 14 and a half first day and I probably had, I don't know, uh, 11 or 12 on day two. Ooh, Ooh that's, a good that's the way he's supposed to hit it, but he ain't no size. Out of all the laydowns we fished, I know, all the laydowns we fished, all this whole thing, that one on the flat bank, you know, maybe that's the deal, they're on the flat banks. This one, this is a, like a flat bank, not a steep one. And uh, it was like a little, like it's not even a lay down, it's like a piece of brush on the, on that flat bank. Maybe that's where we need to be fishing because we've been fishing that steeper stuff like on that side, on the creek turn side, maybe they're on the flat stuff trying to spawn. Ew. Ew. Bite me. Bite me. Ooh. Dude, another one hit it. Holy. You got it? Might have to put a trailer hook on. I don't ever use a trailer hook. <laughs> A little bit off the bank. There he is. Oh. Spotted bass, dude. Spotted bass way up here up the river. Look how he got it choked, bro. God. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Spot it. All right, so this is how you tell this is a spotted bass. Let's look at let's look at this cat. This is how you tell the difference. Uh oh, let me get the camera right here. This is how you tell the difference between this. Uh, this is a spotted bass. You see the markings. Just really, I always like just look at the fish. Right, this fish just looks. See how his longer, slender body. Uh, his markings are a lot more pronounced down here. His lateral line, like on a largemouth, the lateral line has a lot more vertical stripes. You can see, it's more horizontal stripes. Um, to, you know people talk about there being a patch on the tongue this is the way i tell the difference between the largemouth and the spotted bass i look at the fish and it looks different it's like the like trying to tell a labrador retriever from a dalmatian if you just take a minute and look at the fish the fish the overall just the the profile of the fish is totally different than a largemouth bass i i don't even you got one i i don't even you know sometimes they'll have a few spots right here on their bellies um you know there's a lot of distinguishing characteristics between the largemouth and a spotted bass but to me just the overall body of a spotted bass just looks totally different so you can look at the gill plates you can look at you know the patch on the tongue that they say if you feel in there there is a little patch on his tongue in the back back there but to me just the fish they don't look alike at all i mean they, they look totally different um just a profile if you just take a minute and look at the fish you'll see the spots you'll see the lateral line sometimes in stained water like this the lateral line won't be quite as pronounced but just look at the fish that's all you gotta do mm-hmm bite the spinner bait mm-hmm bite the spinner bait mm-hmm <laughs> that's all that means closer and closer to spawner oh did you see that one hit it oh he hit it again Dude, you see him hit it? I wonder if those are bass. Look at the boil up there. You know what? I'm gonna try to flip my lizard up there. I just don't wanna have to do that. I really do need to tie that buzz bait on the way that shallow they are. Yeah. Sitting there looking like spurs. <laughs> you don't wanna get his eyes crossed like you. If I see another person catch a crappie, I'm gonna be mad. You're talking about how, you, how good they caught him. I'm like, man, you caught him on live bait. I guess you did catch him. There he is. Finally. Yeah, he was right there on the corner on the rock. Now, look where that spinner bait is, okay? Okay. Now, that is what we call a chocolation, okay? Chocolation. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
So how many of you believe in the banana theory? I don't believe in that. I always have a banana in my boat at all times. I just don't care. Like, if a banana gives you bad luck, what fruit gives you good luck has always been my question. Just thrown up there. He whooping your butt too. I had just thrown there. Oh. <laughs> Is that on chatterbait? Yeah. Chatterbait. I don't want to throw chatterbait. I'll let you catch them on chatterbait. I ain't catching them on chatterbait. That's a large mouth there. Let me see. Oh, now you threw him back. I told you he was going to be on that point. I had just got through saying that. Throw right there on the on the point point. I had just made a cast right there. I don't want to catch him on the chatterbait. I am an old school fisherman. I want to catch him on a sprinter bait, ride or die. Good buddy. I'm a sprinter bait till I die. <laughs> I want to catch some crap. Uh oh, you caught him behind me. Dude, I had just cast there. Why you keep doing that? That's a better one there, bro. That's a better one. How you keep doing? Oh, that's a three pounder. <laughs> that's a three pounder. That's a three. Hey, that's like a three. Mark would say, like this right here. That you, that. <laughs> you see right here. You know what I'm saying? Did right the, here. Got a Z man right here. You know, got that. Boy, you take the hook out of that fish. <laughs> man, you take the hook out of it. Pop hey man, I'm gonna have to put me a charter bait on now. Mm. I don't like. I don't like getting whooped that mm. good. That was a real good. One. I'm liking that scatter bait today. Actually, better. Right here on the main rocks now. We're in the pockets now. We're out here on the main rocks, the main creek. But there should be some out here because you know they hadn't all went in the pockets yet. Because if it was, we'd been catching way more. Man, you might have to put that thing down because I, I, I ain't really trying to just get just beat down. No, Chatter bait. Jackhammer. Uh, jackhammer's got the difference between the jackhammer and the, the Chatter Bait Elite, like that one you got on. That is. Uh, Jackhammer's got uh, stainless steel, which they all got stainless steel snaps and stuff like that. Jackhammer's got a, uh, actually that one and the Jackhammer has a five volt Gamagatsu hook, uh, but it's manufactured in Japan, so it just costs more. Costs more. Oh, it's a bunch of different Chatterbaits. You got Chatterbait Elite, original Chatterbait, you got a Jackhammer, it's a Project Z. Then there's a Bass Pro Shops Chatterbait, um, the Freedom Tackle Chatterbait. There's a lot of different well, chatter. Diesel Men, a, a Diesel Chatterbait. They're all, yeah, that is a Z Man. Oh, yeah. All of them are Z Man. No, no, yeah. Oh, man, that's a giant, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, he ain't no bigger than nothing else, but golly, he wrecked it. <laughs> Dude, like I was rolling it down through there and it goes, boom. <laughs> uh, I, th I thought that was gonna be a five pounder the way he hit it. It really did feel like a five pounder, but him not five, him is two. No. What you gonna do? You gonna pow? Man, you wheeled him out on that chatter bait though. Chris Lane got that from me. You wheeled him out on my dog on. Wearing him out on my chatter bait. You can get this at shopbelat.com. You can. It's on my it's on my chatterbait kit. That 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 chatterbait is on my chatterbait kit. It's a that's the sexy shad one that he's throwing right there. Sexy shad, uh, chatterbait elite with the uh, diesel minnows trailer on there. You see. So it's got the uh, diesel minnows trailer and the deal and white. This is actually the sexy shad uh, chatterbait there. Yeah, that's it. All right, y'all, so I'm going to break down the gear that I was fishing with today. You saw we caught most of the fish today on, uh, well, we caught them on two baits. We caught them on a chatter bait. We caught, a, caught them on a spinner bait. You can get both of the baits that, uh, well, really everything we fish with. We caught them a few fish on some other things, too. But you can get everything we bought today at my website, shopbelat.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Most of the fish that you saw me catching, a couple my brother caught, uh, we caught on a spinner bait. This is a 3 8 ounce Z-Man Sling Blades White and Chartreuse. Now, I sell it in a kit that you guys can get on my website. It is a uh, the White and Chartreuse, because you know everybody knows you catch them on that. 
There is one that has a little orange kicker blade on there for muddy water. And you also have um, Sexy Shad. And you also have one a color that's a clear water co color called Mousetrap. All in my spinnerbait kit on my website. So check it out. Look at the description box. They're all Colorado bladed spinnerbaits just like this one. 3 8 ounce um, spinnerbaits that we caught all our fish on. Great bait for fishing in the springtime when we're fishing around wood. All those kind of things. He also caught some on a chatterbait today. I also have a chatterbait kit on my website. I'll show it to you here. The one he caught them on. Now today my brother caught probably more fish than I did when we fished up in the stain water on a chatterbait. This is the chatterbait that he was using. It's just a sexy shad chatterbait that you can guys can get at shopblat.com. What he was doing is he was actually using a diesel minnows in the deal. You can find this guy on my website shopblat.com check it out right there it's this chatterbait kit so there's actually my favorite three chatterbait colors in that kit there's a black and blue there's a green pumpkin and the sexy shad like this one so it'll get you through every watercolor situation that you'll need to throw a chatterbait in let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you guys want to see you want to see crappy fishing videos bass fishing videos salt order fishing videos i got enough of time to do them now so i'm going to be doing all types of fishing between now and april